Dan. And I'm Austin. And we are here to play games. Pretty badly. <laughs> Pretty badly. <laughs> Welcome back to Lies of P. Uh, when we last left our intrepid lying hero, uh, he was suffering by my repeatedly dying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we're yeah, back yeah. to seek we, we redemption. Had, we had some rough go of it, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, we got this. And that isn't open yet. Right. That's what we were working on before we got so rudely interrupted by our cutoff time. Yes. Yes. It's very rainy here. Mm-hmm. Ah. I'd like to know what happened to Ox and Cat, too. Like, they just up and disappeared. Yeah, they pieced out. Oh, no. Mm. Come on. Alright. Not a promising beginning. Listen, I know you've been under the weather, but you're gonna have to get your act together. <laughs> Listen. Okay. <laughs> Listen. No. Oh. We'll just check this one up to a warm up run. Got him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I went a little early on that one. Yeah. I think I was running by this particular enemy. I think that's correct, yeah. All right, but we did. At least, uh, I believe, managed to get some of the dudes. Yeah, well, there was that one really big dude in the middle that was mm -hmm. causing problems, and we took care of him. He doesn't respawn. Yeah. The ones like the further guts do, though, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot of. A lot of that nonsense. Right. right. Did, didn't miss that sound, though. Nope. That sound grates on the nerves. You know, it's still... It's still not as jarring, I think. Maybe jarring's not the right word. But in Dark Souls 1, that uh, prison area where that alarm is just going off constantly until you finally turn it off. Oh, the Duke's you know, archives? Yeah. Yeah, that one... That one's pretty bad. It's like... I don't know how to define it, because... It's not. I go with grading. Loud. Yeah, it is very grading, uh, unsettling. You know? Yeah. Like, it's, like I think the noise just causes anxiety in me. Not that I think that it's a scary sound. It's dissonant. It kind of hits wrong on purpose. Right. Like, uh, kudos for sound design. Very incredible. But like, <laughs> stop. Just make it stop. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right. So we clearly need to go around this way. Lots of really angry things. Yeah, they're up top, so... I can't remember if we messed around in these alleys, I think. Hi there! <laughs> oh, I missed. Man, there's a lot of, like, jumping out of crates and stuff going on in here. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious. Okay. Right, okay, okay. I remember checking back here. Okay. Um. Oh. Well. My blocking game is uh, something I need to focus on here, I think, so. Not doing too well so far. Got here. to drink your get good potion before we start playing. Yeah, I forgot about it. Whoopsie. Hmm. Oh, whoops. This has that uh, Dark Souls 1 style of like healing where you can only get so far depending on how much healing you end up using. Okay, so there's right. this section over here and then there's the walkways. I think the walkways are what you want, though, because I think that gets you to the Red Lobster shortcut. Sounds right. Okay. Oh, no. Angled wrong. 
Oh. Not, not what I intended to do. I believe you were asking about an amulet. Yeah, the patient's amulet, but I'm pretty sure you got it last time from defeating the elite carcass in the middle of the area. Yep, yep I got it. I have it equipped. Just trying to make sure I keep track of what items are available to us. Ah, yes, this is where we got stuck because of that thing. Yeah. Get him. Oh, because I fell through that. That's why. There we go. Ooh. Good grief. Oh. oh. It's not your fault. Someone put a wall in your way. How dare. All right. Got a falconized Ooh, shot a chest. for the moment. Yeah, let's pick this up. Yoink. Bone cutting. Interesting. Hmm. Let's take a look at it. Oh! Wow. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Let's see. Link chop, okay, okay. Endure, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's a motivity weapon for sure. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Have to check that out, mess with it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, there's items like everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Go down here. Pick up all these. Okay. Can I go in there? Can you go in there? No. No, but it broke the... Hateful. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> uh, like, I know you got caught on some kind of invisible thing, but it just... Yeah. It looks funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Durability's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll be so glad when we're out of this area. Yeah, I agree. Just for the just for the sound. Yep. Area's all right, but yeah, the sound is just really annoying. Yeah, recommend taking him out first. Uh huh. Get oh. out of here. Perfect. What? Why did he... <laughs> <laughs> Someone must have paid them good money for the extra dramatic death. I guess. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> all right. It's, it's, the, it's like it's the new actors when they try just a little too hard, you know? Yeah, exactly. I had seen. <laughs> the Shatner method. Right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, sir, fix the freaking loudspeaker. Is there anything else up here? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. Is there access to the Red Lobster Inn from up here? You're a Red Lobster Inn. Let's check. I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't maybe. know. Or perhaps. Uh, right down <laughs> there. Chance. What? May chance. Mayhap so. Mayhap. Yeah, oh, right, we were on the other side of this, and I saw that chest before, okay. That doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Okay, well, this may be dead end up here, then. Yeah, I don't think there is access to the end from here. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think so. You're over there just like, move on, move on right now. Uh, 
No, no, no. Uh, so the next area, I think, to get further would be the ladder that's inside the building, because there were two different ladders, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah, the one over here, I think. Yeah. Which we got some... Oh, we're good here. Okay. Yeah, you already cleared him out, because he came up here earlier and then hopped back down for something. I maybe may accidentally. Be, I may be playing badly, but at least, uh... Yeah, okay, I think we go down here, because that... Uh, okay, yeah. Now we can open this. Yeah, there we go. Progress. All right, good. So we've opened that gate back to that plaza if we need to. Oh, give me that. Yeah, this whole alley just screams more people jumping out at you. I know. I was assuming there would be some idiot hopping out to hit smack me in that little... Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh man. I heard a doggo. I think you're out of bullets. Yep. Oh. Ah. I am not a fan of how it just eats, eats shot. I oh. knew it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am not a fan. Wow. He oh. said, I'm not a fan of you either. Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> That's okay. I think from now these dogs are going to be called Bulbasaur dogs. Bulbasaur dogs? Bulbasaur dogs, because <laughs> they got like vine whips coming out of their back. Yeah. That's going to break for sure. Yep. 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 It's fine. Because... It's fine. Oh, yeah. That regen. We gotta be getting close. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Here, another dog floating around. Yeah. There's a dog doggoing somewhere. <laughs> the, the dog's doggoing it. Like dogs do. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. What? Hello? Oh, hey. That's a person. <laughs> it is a person. All right. Hang on. Let me make sure that we're not missing anything back here. I don't think so. This is pretty linear looking, but... where we came from. That's a, yeah. okay. Oh, we did miss something. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Soon we'll... I wasn't expecting to see a person just yeah. hanging out. Yeah, they're just chilling there. They just leave? You just up and left. Alright then. Ladder. Yep. Out of here. I, I wasn't expecting her to just be like, <laughs> peace. Ha 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 ha. You got hit by my trap. Also, bye. Like, um, and also, like, we're in the, the, like, district of the Black Rabbits, so maybe she's one of the members. Yeah? Yeah. Seems possible. Huh. I feel like I should be able to get over onto that roof rooftop, too. Die! Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Let's look up here one more time. I'm being a little thorough here, but... I don't think you can make that jump. Nope. Alright. Forward. You don't got the floaty jump like DS2. Red Lobster in. Hey, awesome. Red Lobster in. Taste the essence of traditional dishes from Krat. Oh, that looks delightful. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> All right. Well, okay then. Oh, oh, jeez. Huh. Hold on. Oh boy. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this thing is gross. What? what? Fortunately, he got his throw attack off after 700 <laughs> minutes and running 45 miles as I tried to get away from it. So now I have to go back through that. But we did unlock a gate in the plaza, so that's good. That's true. And you can probably run past most of this stuff. Yep. So that should help. Oh. Had like no healing why I was being so timid. I know, you you were making good progress despite having been out of healing for several minutes. Yep. Oh nice. Good. Good, good, good. Carcass body fluid bottle, that's a appealing item. <laughs> Yes, me. Okay. Up here. Just like the the sodas from what was it, Persona Four that we talked about? Persona Five, yeah. Five, oh, five, yeah. Or a grenade. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know why <laughs> those are in that game. Happiness water. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. Right there. Yeah. Super handy. So, you know, not as bad as it seems, really. Right. Just took us a while to get there. Yeah. Yeah, back up that way. Whoa. Come on. Get out of my way. <laughs> Seems like the biggest threat right now is depth perception. No. Um, well, a little bit. The one of the things and feel free, viewers, to put your opinions on this in the comments. But there is a tendency in Souls games in Souls like games right now to have enemies that position themselves one thirtieth of an inch away from your effective weapon range uh, <laughs> and they will back up slowly in a move that does not make me want to throw my controller across the room uh, and you'll just whiff repeatedly unless you have attacks that move forward uh, so one of the kind of lessons is either add advancing into your attacks be aggressive or um use weapons that have charging attacks on them. Where'd the big dude go? I do not know. I'm sort of scared he's gonna pop out of nowhere here. Whoop. Stop it! There we go. But yeah, that's that's my uh that's my little bit of frustration with attack patterns. There he is. Not do what I wanted it to. That did. Oh. 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 I really, really, really don't like that charging attack. Yeah. Have some of that. <laughs> it seems difficult to know like how to carry it. Ugh. That's the other oh. problem right there. The camera, he's just like, you can't see anything because he's on top of you. 
It's just right. very tough to see any tells when 90% of your screen is obnoxious monster <laughs> that's charging right. at you. Uh, this is a cool I mean, place, though. It is. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. And to be clear, viewers, despite these general complaints, we will always love those light games. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, this is this is a great game, but it's one of the things um, that I think is very important is to be critical of the things we like because, um, you know, I think this game is a step in the right direction uh, from what I've seen so far with regards to Souls games, Souls-like games. Um, there's a lot of attack reading, despite some of these enemies being like, I am a gigantic enemy, good luck reading me, you know, like... Uh, there's, there's the idea of getting good, and I understand that, but there's also, like, this game does not seem to have a lot of enemies of the type that frustrate me. Uh, let's read this. Uh, where you just can't read them, and they're just bashing 85 miles around you repeatedly right. just smacking you into the ground 115 times in 10 seconds you know right, like, just the, the flailing yeah, arms flailing the arm tube guy yeah yeah and you're you're clipping through the gigantic enemy you know and stuff like that um right. this game doesn't seem to have as much of that so that's good yeah that's good definitely a lot more obvious pacing yeah here than some of the newer from software games which again we still love but yeah well, and a lot right. of the stuff that I get frustrated at uh, can be considered my fault. You know, I'm, I'm not reading properly, and that is fine. So I'm sometimes frustrated right. with myself. But, you know, that guy, I'm not a big fan of that enemy. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to the Monad Charity House. The Monad Charity House is also known by its nickname, the Rose Estate. Originally, we were a charity organization for poor children. But today, with the Monad's family sponsorship, we're becoming a boarding school with high quality welfare and education curriculum. Children can get stalker, workshop technician, and alchemist education according to their aptitude and career path. Oh, that's interesting. Mm hmm. To this day, about 200 graduates are from the Monad Charity House and are actively working in different fields in Krat. For more details and sponsorship, please contact the Charity House manager. You look like a donkey in this picture. Stop doodling on my picture, Romeo. <laughs> Good, good. I love the flavor in this game. Find yeah. all these things. It's just they're really painting a paint the world here. Well, uh, soccer being a career path is interesting because yeah, up until this point. Oh, there it is. There's a shortcut. Perfect. Open up. Give me that shortcut. Mm -hmm. Love that. Ah. All right. Do we have enough? level no we probably do but, well maybe not okay but we will be going back um to the cathedral library soon okay let's uh see if we can go up without dealing with jerk man down here yeah assuming he responds hey bud what up fancy seeing you here let's grab this sucker Legion caliber. Nice. Okay. That'll upgrade I thought one of there your were no more survivors. Arms, right? But you. You're new. Yeah, it upgrades I an arm. I have a bit of commerce, but the bosses are really strict about who I'm allowed to sell to. Are you with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood? Yeah, oh, so if uh -huh. you show him the mark. If I show him the mark, I can buy from him. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. I can't tell what's real and what's fake, to be honest. Ah, my job is selling stuff, not detecting forgeries. <laughs> if it's fake, you'll be the one to get punished, not me. <laughs> Great. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. Uh, okay, yes. So this is the guy for basically Dude. Uh, all important throwables and consumables. They are all infinitely purchasable from this location. Bramble Curve Sword. Yes. The Let's other notable see. thing is the Bramble Curve Sword, the Arch Shock Cartridge, Ooh. and the Someday Record. Okay. Well, 
I do want to get all of those, but let's grab these first, because they're equipment. 3,800, okay. Is he going to stay here? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Alright, we could sell these. Let's see. Someday it was 3,800. Mm-hmm. Boom. Grab that. But yeah, that's all the consumables, like... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Some of these are kind of expensive, but they're really good consumables, so... Yeah, the saw blade is a surprisingly good throwable. Yeah, the saw blade and the sharp pipe are both really good. Shot foot. <laughs> Shot foot. <laughs> huh. The snowflake shining white in the night sky comfort me as I wait for you alone in the dark. Waiting for a departed lover. Someday, seeing if yearning far enough to reach the stars. Okay, then. We'll play that when we get back. Uh, I am curious about the Bramble Curse Sword. Oh, we have a Trinity key. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, so the St. Frangelical Cathedral Library had a Trinity door that we ignored earlier because oh. we didn't have a key. Dude, I'm liking that. That's a good moveset. Yeah. Look at that. Looks like a giant. Um... What is the name of that knife? Uh, Kukri? Kukri, yes. Man. I, for the life of me, I, I, any other day, I would not be struggling with the word Kukri. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Furious Slash. I don't think we've seen that one before. Maybe I'll try that with our big blade on it at some point. Mm. That curved blade looks dope, though. Yeah, it does. It's got like a Damascus steel type thing going on. Right, with the serrated edges on the bottom there. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. How's my weight? Okay, we're good. All right, well, this shortcut's back. I don't even know where to go forward from here. Uh, you're saying we should go to the cathedral, though, right? Right, yeah, I think we should take our, our brief re reprise or Repose? Repose. Repose, yes. Brief respite. There we go. Respite, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so the Cathedral Library okay. is where we want to go. That Trinity door. Yep. And we'll ride the lift back up and cross the wheels again. Oh, boy. Yeah, so we'll, like, we'll backtrack from here, basically. Backtrack, okay. We're going back down there? No. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Trust the process. Okay. Uh, down we go. Trust in the process. We're going up. Up we go. <laughs> I know where I'm going, kind of. Yep. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I think despite some of the hit issues with the Falcon Eyes, I do still like it. I just wish it wouldn't miss for reasons I don't understand. Yeah, there seems to be some weird wall clipping problems. Yeah. Yep, to your left. Up the up ladder. That door. No, oh, no, up the door. Oh, oh, up, up the door. As I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna jump across these wheels here. Oh, well, maybe not this one, but boy, yeah, we can I think walk across that one. Yeah, this okay. is the one we gotta make the jump for. Across that one too. Yep. Okay. And there we go. All right, there you go. Cool. Yep. So as we're going down, do you remember the area that had like the big electric boulders? Yes. That's where we're headed. Oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. The boulder. Oh. Oh hey. That was nice. Get out of here. <laughs> That's revenge is sweet. It is. Oop. Nice. Whew. All right. Keep going. Oh, uh, yeah. Archbishop. Oh, yeah. It's like down this way. I remember this yep. now. Yep, yep, yep. This is just the, like, most direct and a little bit easier way to get to where we're trying to get to. 
Yeah. Yep, there we go. Nice. Oh. Oh. Nice. Good grief. Oh, right. The whole, it's a narrow passageway problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so from here, we're going to go across. To that ladder? Up the ladder. Yep. Okay. One more boulder. Upward. Okay. And then we'll, we'll maneuver our way. Right, we gotta head Long. back that way, right? Yep. Can I, whoop. There it is. Perfect. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One of these weird rooms. Okay, let's grab. Who needs doors? Clearly not them. Ooh. Black clad amulet, monster sweeper, hunters. Apparel, Dog. yeah. Mm. Reduces damage from falling. Okay, cat ring. Yep, always handy. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, look at that. Goes well with the hat too, because with the green band. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's let's wear that for a while. I'm always a fan of a good like long coat. Trust in truth or one, the end of the path of stars will lead to great eternal life. Okay. Hmm. Get the chairs. What do we got over here? Test of the day. Even a noble cleric will curse God if he plucks out his fingernails. Ah. Huh. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Intriguing. Well, that's all we. Yeah, that's all we need here. So we can probably just like uh, use the watch or whatever. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Where are we going next? Do we go back to the hotel, or we, we'll head back to the uh, Red Lobster Inn and can proceed forward. So unless you all need right. to stop by somewhere. No, I, we don't have enough ergo to do much here. So we'll just keep going. All right. We'll try the Bramble Curve Sword and handle on some stuff. And give it some upgrades, too. Oh, we're getting close to a boss, too. Oh, boy. Yep. Back to the Malum District? Yeah. Yep. Very good. Very good. Yeah, so we'll continue through... Red Lobster Inn. And there'll be a new area that leads to the boss. Okay. And we'll see Fox and Black Cat up above, theoretically. In theory. In theory. So, there was like a stairway, I think, when you walk out. Yeah. Up here? Uh, yeah. Is this the one? Yes, because you... Yep. I think, I think that's correct. The other one here. Yeah. Yep. Drop anything? No. Okay. Yep. Hmm. There they are. Looking good. Who'd have thought we'd make it this far? You've got all kinds of skills. Yeah. Hey, everything went smooth as silk. And you know me, I don't impress easy. Sure, but I gotta ask, you really gonna take on the Black Rabbit Brotherhood by yourself? I'll have help. Yeah? <laughs> you gonna come help? Eh? Eh? Yeah, no, they're not gonna help. Excuse me, there are invincible boxes here, are you aware of that? You, you think that they're gonna like, help and put themselves in danger? Nope. They walked through an alley for like five minutes. That's right. And then we're like, said, I need bye. A break. Yeah. yeah. Hey, there's your, yep. Yeah. So so that's gonna be our path then. It's gonna be up the stairs and through this hallway for the, if we have to. Backtrack. Yeah. Okay. Let's we have to come back through here. Let's check out this boss. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Punch. <laughs> wow. All right, then. Get this gate out of here. Tell hey. me how you really feel, P. What up, guys? This is a group boss. He's got a hand. Someone give this guy a hand. Hey.
<laughs> I like him. <laughs> or her. I don't know. Nice. That's the one we spoke to earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cool mask. Look at the tiny hat on the mask. Got a coffin. That is one inside the coffin. Yeah. Nope. Liar. Aww. That's for me. That's a threat right there. Aww. Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing like my brother. Hmm, okay. What? Where was he? I think he was holding the coffin. Uh oh. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh. Watch out. Alright. Oh, good. Got a ninja in the party. He is relentless. His his weapon looks like if you took Cloud's Buster Sword and, and like squished it in like a Photoshop without scaling it when you were shooting it. Right. Come on. Couldn't do Lost it. Chance. That's okay. You got this. Don't look ahead. Look at that spear he's using. Yeah. Whoa. What is he to do? Whoa. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Nice. <laughs> no, not nice. <laughs> oh, nice in the like ironic sense. Yeah. Service. Yeah. Ooh. Good block, though. I like how they were like, hey. Oh, hey, hello now. How dare you come use against me? Oh. Oh, you got this. You oh. got this. No. Oof. Good. Yeah. Uh, oof. No spin to win. Yeah. Get that out of here. Uh oh. That's. This puppet's crazy. Listen, you guys started it. Yeah, you attacked me. That was the eldest that we defeated. I guess we'll fight the other ones later. Yeah, I guess so. 
eliminated. It's taunt. Or chunk and taunt. Is that? Hmm, that's from. The Fallen Archbishop. Yeah, which that one makes something I haven't made yet. Right. Alright, well. We got that one. Yep. That was an interesting fight. Uh, there's a couple more things to grab before we um, return to Hotel Karat. Okay. So don't don't leave just yet. I see something here. Yes. Yep. So there's a hideout that we can go into. So that's the door we came through. There's another door further along. Yeah, just looking around here. It looks like there's that. And then there's probably nothing over here. It's just a bunch of stuff. That yeah, it's like it's blocking the steps. Locked <laughs> off, okay. So I guess we go in here. Yeah. What up? Alright, so... There's a side room in here somewhere that has a portrait of a boy. Wow. All puppets will die. Also, any and anyone who messes with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Okay. Black Rabbit Brotherhood ledger. Ooh. Sale of 10 ergo complete. I like our old broker man because he always pays well, but when he's in a hurry, it's hard to secure ergo he needs. Sometimes I wonder if he devours it or something. What does he need ergo for? Does he really eat it? No scribbling on the ledger, kid. The alchemists are asking for more gold coin fruit. Mm. It's not easy to get, so this could be a problem. I think the hotel guys are always catching on to what's going on. Slowly. Or slowly, mm. yep. We can physically clash with them, but that's a last resort. Our sibling's safety comes first. Oh, how touching, bro. Shut up. <laughs> I guess these are like side notes. I guess so. Like doodles in the margins. Acquiring Acquired five ergo. I'm real close to the end of this job selling corpses. Just a bit more, and I'll have enough to escape this blasted city. That proposal from the alchemist is tempting, but I'm running short of ergo, and I'm sure about... I'm not sure about it. Mm. Maybe that's who the guy in the chair is, is the alchemist. Maybe. Think about an expedition to the Barren Swamp. Get me new get me new parts if you go out of town. A dress for me. A gun and a weapon for me. This is not your journal, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There's... Is this, that's an elevator. I probably yeah, don't need take to the, take that yet. Yeah, uh, don't take the lift just yet. Yeah. There's a, there's a chest in here and a portrait of a boy that we need to grab first. What do we got here? Quartz. Good. Good, good. More quartz. Alright, and then there's whatever this is. This is probably what we're looking for. Yep, that's what, right there. Hey, check this out. Looks like you, sort of. Sure does. From hmm. a certain angle. You know, if you squint. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? With the nose and the... Right? The nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we go up the lift. Thanks, Gemini. Yeah, right. Isn't there stuff up here? Might be. Yeah. Let's get... Stalker masks. This month's trend. Why did the stalkers start wearing animal masks? According to city historians, it was customary to wear animal masks in ancient Krat. It was one of the rituals to show off one's life when one fought the legendary rock titans. Rock titans? What? Believe it or not, but this legend is an inspiration to today's stalkers. It is not just for defense and fashion, but also for ranks that show off one's abilities. The link between rank and animal masks isn't clear, but mostly the powerful ones choose their preferred mask first. Perhaps there might even be newbies forced to wear silly masks chosen by their seniors. In the troubled times of the petrif petrification disease, how about refreshing your mind with an energetic stalker mask? Choose a soul animal to your liking. Various fashionable stalker masks await you. P.S. This item includes a spore filter to protect against petrification disease, patented by the workshop. Hey, bro. HQ is toast, so how about a Black Leopard Lab mask? The workshop's toast, too, so why would they bake it? Ah. Interesting. Alright, so we've looted the HQ here. 
I guess. Uh, yeah, this is like their base. Yeah. Go up and or down the lift. Up. <laughs> up. It's always a guess, though. Yeah. I guess it would be and or, because if we went up and down at the same time, it would just say still. But... Head entry! Mm -hmm. What do we got here? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, it's, uh, it's, it's dude, bro. Well, hey, dude, bro. You have no idea how happy I am yeah, to see you, Yeah, your Mr. cube Stalker. guy. Oh, yes. Oh, Mr. Stalker. That's right. He doesn't realize. Hello. It's a relief to see you. Hey, man. I I'll get straight to the point. Gianjio? I found the gold coin tree. Gianjio. Who knew it was right beside <laughs> us? But there's a problem. When I tried to, to, to pick the gold coin fruit, it, it resisted me. I, I couldn't even get close. It actually burned me. It's probably because I have the petrification disease. Oh. P -p Pathetic, yeah. So close yet so far. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. Okay. Hmm. I heard the alchemists made a device capable of fully utilizing gold coin fruit. Hmm. I ignored it, assuming it was just a legend. You hear all sorts of wild tales about alchemists. Now that I know gold coin fruit actually exists, though, perhaps it's all true. Perhaps so. Interact with the Saint Tess statue at the Grand Exhibition. You might be able to use the other powers of the gold coin fruit. Mm. I might look urbane now, but I, I, I used to be a farmer. I'm, I'm also interested in growing trees. I heard about a vendor who sells plant alchemy boosters. They huh. might work on this tree, too. If you come across such boosters, bring them to the tree. Fascinating. About the cube. The people of ancient they claim nah, it's we are you'll find a star. All right. <clears throat> Stalker, please. I wanted to see. Yeah, okay. Stalker, please. Yeah, he doesn't refill it anymore. Very interesting. Okay, so I guess the gold coin fruit is out here, huh? Yep. Rules the door. Oh man. What's oh, crazy it's looking? It's like a woman's hair. Yeah. Look at all those coins. Whoa. Dude, that is a lot of coins. Huh. I never expected to see the gold coin tree in a place like this. Gold coin fruit at set times, used in several different places, use boosters to speed up its growth. Huh. Okay. Holy oh, comes with a price. Okay. Zero out of eight until the next fruit is ripe. Whoop. Hold on. Reset level. Oh, yeah. We can, um... Yeah. Wow, that's handy. Yeah, we'll obtain all the ergo we've used, and it will reset our level. So we can level up again and change our stats. Yeah, it looks like you can do that with your P-Organs and Legion Arm, too, which is really handy. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay. So Puppet String has one used on it. And Falcon Eyes. So we could use some puppet strings, or I'm sorry, some gold coins to pull those off and downgrade these and then upgrade a different one if we want to. I don't know that that's necessary right now, but. Right. Yeah, and this will just dump all the P organ upgrades off and get refund the quartz. Okay. Wow. That's really, really useful. Look around here. Anything up here? Whoa. Oh, what's this? Oh, interesting. All right, hold on. I want to 
wanted to see if those boxes were destructible. Hold the phone. You're back in the hotel. Oh my god. This is the hotel. Wow. Dude. That's... That's really clever. Wow. That's cool. Oh, that's really handy. That means it gives you access to... Giangio. Yeah, Giangio and the tree. I was wondering right. where the next, like... Which will give you access to, like, upgrading the cube and refilling it and all that. Stalker, please. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. Okay, so I think we can, yeah, we can purchase with gold coin fruit. So let's look at these. Uh, we can purchase star fragments, which, meh. You have uh, so many of them. <laughs> yeah, recovery, we can get the temper, the HP regen. Increase max stamina. Temporarily restores legion. That's kind of handy. Yeah, that might be nice. Increase fables charge amount for a set period of time when attacking. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, temporarily. Ooh, the specter HP is nice. That'd be good yeah. for boss fights. Explodes when the specter is hit, so you can make the specter a freaking <laughs> exploding man. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Let's see. Oh, okay. Increase resistance to all status ailments and reduce Spectre received damage for a set period of time. Okay. Spectre's destructive power. Man, a lot of Spectre buffs. Oh, interesting. An endure for the Spectre. Fire attack. Electric. Acid. Spectre attack. Oh, okay. You can turn him into a tank. <laughs> Seems like a lot of Spectre boosts here. Yeah, so all of the Spectre boosts cost two gold coin fruits. The ones for yeah. us cost three. Yeah. The Legion one seems like it'd be really handy, but also increasing the Spectre HP mm -hmm. and some of its other abilities seems like it would also be worthwhile, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure which one of these I want at the moment. Um, you can always hold off for now, too. Yeah, I'm th I'm leaning toward the restore of Legion. Uh, although there's not a lot of use for that in boss fights, let's um, let's take a look. I was gonna take a look at how much time we got on the gold coin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's plenty of people to talk to in the hotel too. So yeah, let's let's talk to people. Um, it's recommended at this point that you go ahead and buy the bright red apple whenever you talk to uh, Welcome Paul to Hotel Prague. And done. Alright. Cool. Uh, we'll need to talk to Antonia. Okay. Which I believe is the old woman in the wheelchair. Mm hmm. Hello. Oh, hey, I got an idea. Hold on. Ah, yes. Someday. Nice. If you came from the Marlin district, you probably saw the gold coin tree. Oh, you know of it. I knew the tree was at the hotel, of course. I'm not the only one. The alchemists show great interest in its fruit. I heard it's optimized to respond to everything. But that's not the important part. The crowd disaster caused the alchemists to fight amongst themselves. Many people died or went missing. That's the real tragedy of the Rose Estates. Huh. I stopped cooperating with the alchemists. Protecting the hotel was too important. I seemed away the gold coin tree, so no one would fight over it. I had no idea the black rat's run would steal from it. Hmm. The hotel is Kraut's last place of refuge. I am obligated to protect her. I'm going to protect you and the people inside until the day I die. If you were in my position, you'd do the same, I'm sure. Mm, fair enough. 
that music's blasted over the dialogue, yeah but... yeah yeah I was noticing that let's um let's just go back to the standard music for a little bit here. Like it's a cool song but yeah I was having trouble hearing what? her she's like oh what are you saying say what now yeah people have no idea thanks for keeping me okay okay we already so yeah she's basically talking about the tree here a great weapon calls for a great war yes um oh right his was the trident that's where that um yeah yeah trident of the covenant uh which is a pretty cool looking weapon we could get it could also get the nameless one's amulet yeah it looks pretty good it's like a pretty good amulet yeah that one successful other. oh yeah, yeah 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 that that one is really good for certain builds and stuff so it'd be nice if we could duplicate ergo like special ergo here um yeah that's what new plus is for yeah what do you think should i grab this one looks like it might be circumstantial but i don't know well so the amulets are all to me, is what it seems like. At least the ones here are like stronger versions of amulets you've picked up. Mm, okay. Like that, like the, uh, and they probably have like additional features too. I'm not sure. Like that one has upon a successful perfect guard, you increase yep. damage by a weapon attack. Yep. But I think the, just the core usage, aside from bonus effects, are like stronger resistances to fire in this case, or decay, or whatever it is in the other one. Oh, okay. Right, so like, because you have a decay resistant amulet, so, you know, it might be worth looking at what their bonus abilities are. Uh, maybe it's not amulet, maybe it's something else. Yeah, it sounds like you were talking about these. Mm. Uh, this upgrades everything. No, there was something you were picking up that was... It, it, you know what? It's probably one of the defensive parts, but it's not the frame or the. Okay. Uh, um. But any anyway, so maybe it stacks then, hmm. and that might be where the benefit there is. I don't know. It's it's kind of whatever you you want to do there. Yeah, honestly. I'll poke around a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Can we craft any others right now? No, not any plugs. No plugs. Yeah, I was thinking I might get Igus or Igus. We've been playing Persona. I I might get Aegis next. Um, <laughs> Pandemonium. Deus Ex Machina. It's okay. I read it as Igus first too. Yeah, that's the landmines. That's the acid one. That's the. Sh I think I'm gonna grab the shield next because that looks like it's useful. So yeah. Next time we get a plug. And the current ones we have, we can technically upgrade. Except for like the second level there. All right. All right. Anyone else we need to talk to here? Uh, Geppetto, worth talking to. Okay, let's see. At the house of Anini, even. That's not Geppetto. Indeed. <laughs> Just gonna check. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always will. Yeah, so we can buy the electric blitz one. Yeah. I know my way around. Symbol. All right, I'll mess with that in a little bit. So I think we're doing well with this sword. Uh, other than smack it into walls occasionally. Let's see if we can get a good spear type weapon going. Geppetto! Hey, man. You're back. The Malam district was as grim as we feared, was it not? Yup. But with the Black Rabbit Brotherhood out of the picture, we can focus elsewhere. Mm. And why not strike at the root of the problem? The King of Puppets' lair is on Rosa Isabel Street. 
Perhaps the puppet frenzy will come to an end if we can take down their king. Perhaps. Go to Antonia and get the key to Rosa Isabel Street. I already let her know you'll be coming by. I always remember these favors you've done for me. Though it pains me to send someone so precious into such peril. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and grab some stuff here. We were working on this one. We got two quartz. Let's see. Can't do another one of these currently. Ooh, max number of pulse cell uses. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that one. Okay. What do we got down here? Weapon durability, consumption. We use wish stones quickly. Charge fable when reviving. Fascinating. Durability of inactive weapons. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, max number of gold coin fruit. That's interesting. More ergo from enemies. Hmm. What do you think? I'm always down for more ergo. Honestly, because like you can level up more. So. Yep. And we got another cube use too. Yep. Very good. Very good. Like the next one I would do might be speed of cube usage. Hmm. Mm hmm. Gold coin fruit bearing time increase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's increased pulse cells as well. Yeah, an increase of pulse cells would always be worthwhile. Yeah, I wonder what the max here is, like if you can activate everything. I'm sort of assuming not. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, in theory, especially if New Game Pluses, like... Yeah. Theoretically, you could. So these are three. There's what? Um, 20 in each one? Four pages, 80? So that's two times four, eight, uh, 16. That's what, uh, 28, 40, uh, 56. Yeah, so we can't get all of the smaller ones, but assuming we can fill all these in, we can get all the major abilities, so. Right. Yeah. Well, well uh, if you hmm? go, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say if you um, talk to Geppetto one more time, we can get the clap emote. This portrait. Oh yeah, the portrait. Oh, I remember it fondly. <laughs> I thought it was lost forever. I had no idea the Black Rabbit Brotherhood had stolen it. To think that you. You have brought it back to me. Glad to help, Forgive buddy. a foolish old man his memories. Memories of a happier time, my son. I know just where to hang it in the hotel. Well, I, this makes me wonder if he <laughs> was built off of the like inspired by the form of Geppetto's son. Sure does seem like it, doesn't it? Right. Well, so like I I think it's either something happened to the son and Geppetto created essentially a cyborg puppet body mm -hmm. that has like his son's soul in it, so to speak. Right. Or um in his grief he created a puppet that looks like his son. Mm. And gave it all the care and the special like conditions that it has. Like the P organ isn't in all the puppets, so that is a clearly unique thing about P himself. Right. 
the kitty's on this table now. I wonder if he still hisses at you. Hey, kitty. Yes. Mm. Kitty displeased. Wow, really displeased kitty. Well, fine. I don't want to pet you anyway. Can't pet kitty. Sadness. <laughs> this game is literally unplayable. How do we get to the extra bag again? Do you remember? Uh. What well, extra bag? Oh. I got the one ends lamp. I think it's like the left or right D pad? Oh. Or not D pad, um, uh, shoulder button? Ooh, hang on a second. Hmm. Maybe not. Didn't need to do that. It's all right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there we go. Better good, better good. Alright. So we gotta talk so to just... Antonia again. Yeah. I need to speak with her again. We Okay. And then she should give you the key to the next thing that we're doing. Key to the city. Got it. Hurry up. I heard from Geppetto. Rosa Isabel Street is ever so dangerous, I'm told. I hoped we wouldn't have to unlock the passage there. But if we want to stop this disaster once and for all, I fear we've no choice. Makes sense. Geppetto and I care about you very much, you know. Stay safe. For both of us. I feel like my time is... slowly coming to an end. Antonio, no! Mm. It's a nice feeling to know that someone waits for you. That someone cares. Please take care out there. Mm-hmm. So we got a key. Very good. All right. Uh, let's... I guess we're going to need that apple for something pretty soon here. Yeah, something. I think we're going to get a little more capacity before too long here. Capacity? Oh, 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 for levels, right. Right. Yeah. I'll use my power. Yeah, I do want to get that, but this will give us a little more carry weight, right? Yeah, we're running a little low on carry weight, so we get this. And we could respec technique down a little bit uh, since we're moving to a motivity weapon now that we have access to respecking. Uh, speaking of, I think we probably have some more fruit. No, this is Rosa Isabel Street, I think. Up here? It's right. the other side of the steps. Other side. Yep. Go get some more fruit. Not that. Yeah, it's that path right I there. I took the long way. You sure did. Okay. Two. Yeah. So that's ten minutes per fruit. So Ooh. after like almost an hour and a half, you can get all eight again. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we're going to have to do that regularly. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, right, right, right. So... I wonder if we can see how it looks. Actually, we can. So let's let's refund levels here, and we'll go ahead and reset level. Okay. Gives it to us right away. Okay. Now I think if I remember right, I had vitality up at twenty, right? I I don't remember. <laughs> you think I was paying attention? 
Okay, so let's do a lot of motivity here. Um, one more capacity. I do want some technique. Let's put it at 15, maybe. That leaves us with no advance. Have we been using much advance? That's mainly for uh, elemental stuff, so the Falcon Eyes uses it. Okay. Um. So, I mainly wanted to get a little more capacity here. I think, yeah, Vigor, we could probably use, stand a little more Vigor at some point, but... Um, yeah, see, this is giving us a little bit. If we just go straight... That way, 49.75 compared to 52.73. So this is actually better uh, overall. Not by much, but a bit. So um, I think we'll go with that. Um, we could leave advance at 7 for now, 59.84. Which is tempting, because it's a good bit of damage there. We're going to lose a little bit from Falcon Eyes. But that's more about, like long-range blasting, so I'm actually... Right. What, do you, what do you think about this, stat-wise? Uh, it seems like a decent spread, uh, although, like... I think... Okay, so I think that with the way you've been playing, mm -hmm. motivity being the higher, definitely worthwhile, and capacity, we just been needing to up anyway, because right now you're at <laughs> very heavy. Um, well, that's because you haven't, you, you haven't yeah. applied it, but like right, exactly. Yeah, it'll go to slightly heavy down there. So right, but it's just you've been teetering on the edge between slight and very for a while. So I think having the extra capacity is going to be working in your favor. I agree. And if we find that we need more advanced or technique, because you find that you're having to use Falcon Eyes more often or something. Yeah, we'll just respec it again. Adjust. Yeah, or just adjust those levels mm -hmm. first to compensate. Yep. Let's do it. Alright, now, we've got two uses of the cube. Stalker, please. So, I think what we should be able to do, can we use two different ones? I believe so. So, we could do the one for restoring Legion. We could do Fable Charge. I don't, if this was increased stamina regen, I'd be more excited about it. Um, I guess the other question is, with two slotted, do they use both at once? It's a good question. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do the Courage Wishstone. And then I think... Maybe give the Spectre a second... Second life. Yeah, it's, it's always worthwhile. Grab those. Okay, so we equip that. Okay, now we can only equip one. Hmm. Hmm. I really do wonder what it meant by more than one usage of the cube, then. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Oh, well, I'm probably, not... probably something really simple that we're overlooking. Yeah. All right. Look up later. Yeah, let's go ahead and open up Rosa Isabel Street. Rose Isabel, whatever it is. Yep. Um, it's on the opposite side. We'll go around this way. This will be faster. We're in pretty solid shape at the moment. Rosa Isabel Street. That's right. Nice. Ancient fantasy doors. Not really. They do creak open nicely, though. Yes, they do. Foggy morning. Let's see. 
Cloudy morning. Cloudy morning. Oh. Rosa Isabella Street. Stargazer. <gasps> Rosa yeah. Isabel Street, the entertainment district. You might call it extravagant. Operas, operettas, street concerts, all running 24 7. Adelina Corday, the singer in the red dress. Oh, she was the most famous of them all. The legendary Prima Donna. Mm, well, I'm not sure if she's still alive, so while the past tense makes sense, it's. Yeah, it's getting a little depressing. All right, man. <laughs> uh, all right. Definitely got only one way we can really go here. Yeah. We got the stargazer here. Yep. Excellent. All right, and I don't think that. Yeah. Is there an extra option there? Well, it's showing you the timer on the gold tree now, which is nice. That is nice. Yeah, it's going to bother me. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can find for you. Uh, let's see. Symbol weapons. I want to try. Okay. Yeah, we're back to slightly heavy for this, and... Okay, so... My understanding is, right now we can have multiple wish stones in our inventory. Mm-hmm. You can only use one... Like, per use. Um, however... There's like a... There's probably like some... Quartz perk that allows you to use two. That's what I thought so, we got already. Yeah. This says it's a late game quartz perk, so maybe not. I don't know. Are we late game? Cool. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's read this thing. Let's see. The Witch's Tower and Princess. The final performance by Adelina, the greatest prima donna. Experience the passionate stories. Get the most loyal servant. Volunteers wanted. Someone's coughing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, can't do much about that. All right. That is. That was not an intentional firing of that weapon. All right. I should find the source of that coughing. Should be like a window, somewhere around here. Hmm. Looks like it's maybe up there. Yeah, I see a shadow of a person, so we gotta make okay. our way up there, I think. Up, up and around, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Alright. Um, so... Again, wish stones. My understanding here is that... It'll give you the option to use the same wish stone you have to twice. Okay. Not two different wish stones. So... If we do have the perk that allows you to use two, I think what it is saying is that it will allow you to use the same one twice. So you get more out of each wish stone, basically. Ah, okay. We have one, but we can use it twice. In theory. Fascinating. Either that Obviously. or we gotta buy two of them, and but they gotta be the same type, maybe. Right. So I think I think what we've what we've got right now is that we have the capacity to hold two. Hmm. I think there's another perk that allows you to use the same one twice. Okay. Sounds good to me. Thanks for checking on that. Yeah. If I'm wrong, viewers, and you know different or better, let us know in the comments. Oh. Oh. Which 
Witch's Tower and Princess poster. Mm. The Witch's Tower and Princess, the comedy praised by audience and critics alike. The Estella Opera House will be presenting its grand finale. It's the last work of the best writer of Crot, Coppelius Compellin, as well as the last performance of Red Actress Adelina Corday, the greatest prima donna of our time. Corday, yeah. Mm -hmm. The greatest adventure of an evil witch, a gallant knight, and a beautiful princess awaits you. Come join an unforgettable experience of laughter, tears, and thrills. Great. <laughs> hey, yeah, speak with her. Uh, who are you? Ah, oh, my stalker friend. <laughs> I was worried the puppets had come back. They're demons. They won't give us a moment's peace. Even an elderly lady like me. They wouldn't even let the dead rest if they had the petrification disease. Hmm. Drives a lady to drink, it does. Which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. There's a... there's a wine called La Blaoui. Okay, when now I, I know younger, how to pronounce that. They called it Table the oui. Ruby of the Heavens. I'm sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lorenzini Arcade. You're an enterprising lad. Bring it to me and I'll give you something nice in return. Hmm. Okay. Uh, remember, Lorenzini Arcade. A wine cellar. La Blaoui. Ah, La Blaoui. The Ruby of the Heavens. That had hit the spot. A delight on the tongue. And a memory of bygone days. Alright then. We're gonna have to go get that. Yep. Lorenzini Arcade. We've been there. Is that part of this area? We have not been there yet. Alright. Get out of here. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. Should be a building we can enter, I believe. Interesting. It like there's singing down here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I think we got to go this way. Uh, I went down here. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Artist doodle. Hmm. Puppets are the most beautiful of beings. Even their human masters are incomplete being in the comparison. Creation's more perfect than their creator. The creator who created them. Which would you praise more? Interesting. So there's a entrance there. There are boxes that must be destroyed here. Boxes, 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 boxes. Mushroom. Mushroom. Okay. And that's, of course, the other side of a shortcut. And we got wow. There's a lot of fire. What is on sure. fire? Oh, I'm You're overheating. overheating too. Wow. Oh. <laughs> nice touch. All I right appreciate then. that. Because you literally you're standing too close. Back up. Yeah. Effect. Yeah. Don't do that. That's bad. Get these benches out of here. What do you think this is? A place for people to sit? All right. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so. What do you think this is? Some kind of rest stop? Right. Hi there. Alrighty. Oh! Watch out for exploding puppets. Oh boy. Okay then, cool. You open this. This is the other side as well? Yeah, okay. Angry exploding puppets. Are you an exploding one? Yep. 
Wow. I'm glad I backed off there. That was the right thing to do. Uh, there's a lower floor here. Out uh, here is. That looks like a ladder you can kick down. Yeah. Or a button, maybe. Yeah, press press the button. Or the ladder. There we go. That goes down to stuff. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> a lot of stuff. But it looks like it goes down to um, Yarnum. <laughs> yeah. The way that, that route looked. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, special report. Foreigner's confession. The alchemist paved the way for Kratz's golden age, and no one denies that fact. But what if instead of gold, they were here to they were to cause an unprecedented disaster? Being a reporter, I received a surprising message from an informant who was once an alchemist himself. It's about a stranger from across the ocean, an alchemist from the far east, who was once famous in Krat. He learned of the group's secrets and quit, and now he uses a different identity out of fear for his safety. Hmm. The relic of Trismegistus is not just a simple ergo mine. It's that place is dangerous. My source claimed that the alchemists had an ulterior motive, one not for the benefit of the city, and that they have a very risky plan involving Ergo. The conspiracy theory about how hundreds of people can die sounded preposterous, but the evidence provided had a surprising amount of credibility to it. So, as a reporter, I spent months with the former, or the informer, and was able to see the dark side of Krat. I intend to deliver my report for the benefit of the citizens. The rest is severely damaged. Publication of this text was banned for spreading false information and promoting social unrest. Additionally, reporter Maduro has been suspended indefinitely from our newspaper. We apologize to the citizens for any trouble. Interesting. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh hi. Oh no, that, that oh no. Oh no. I, oh no. I I hate that. Oh man, they've got a decent amount of health, okay. I I hate those a lot actually. Yeah. Back up. Oh no, why are there more? Screaming alert of the others, I guess. So, baby puppets, alright. Yeah. It's freaking unsettling. If it ergo fragment is good. Yeah. Mm. Oh! Goes down more! Yeah, baby! Place is creepy. All right, so. Oh, cool. All right, let's grab that. That looks like I can open that up too, which is good. Yeah. Legion plug. Beautiful. Now we can Perfect. make the Aegis. Yeah. Okay. This is right in here. Good deal. So now, that would have been fine. Uh, we can go down this way. Let's check out the basement of this house, I guess. Mm. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi. Oh, hi there. Are you cleaning? Housekeeping. Saw blade, cool. I like that attack a lot. <laughs> the stand. Yeah, the poke. The, the poke of justice. This is... Okay. This is that drop down we were looking at before. Yeah. Mm. Resplendent ergo fragment. Uh... I can't read that. Uh, what does that say? Kurg. Kurg. Collection is rough. Something pub. 
bar and grill. Maybe Curtis. Perhaps. Yep. Uh, okay, can we... Yeah, okay, this is the ladder I kicked down. Awesome. Yep. If you stick to the right wall, there's like an amphitheater. I was not expecting that. Yeah, there's that over there. Yeah, if you investigate the... There's a suspicious puppet over in the open theater there. Okay. That we can investigate. Um, what's going on over here? Oh. What the? Oh! Ow! That's fun. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's gonna... Okay, he didn't explode. Yeah, I thought so too for a second. Yeah, there is another one right there. Oh, no, that's bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Who's shooting me? Okay, you said to go in here, right? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. Beautiful puppet you are. I can hear your springs even if you try to hide them. Musicians have keen ears, you know. Would you like to sing for me like your friends? I have a feeling the sound of your cries will be especially sweet. Uh -huh. Let's have an encore performance of pain for the red actress Adelina Corday. Dedicate this performance to my sister Adelina. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh. oh. Just stalk her. My sister is Adelina. Interesting. First thing you had to like really use that mechanic. Yeah. I'm sure it'll become more common. Oh man. I bet that would have done a lot of damage. Probably. <laughs> we can't do as much to you now. There it is. Boom. Attire as your sister. As promised. We wow, that's really tragic. Yeah. 
That was a cool fight, well, though. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, dang. What did you want me to do before that? I was going to have you check the gate that was behind oh, you. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. Produce Just weapons. to see if it was anything. I wonder if this is Corday that we're hearing singing. Yeah, I wonder that too. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy looking. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It's kind of bird like. Yeah, a little bit. What do you think? Stick with it? Go back to the hat? Uh, it's up to you, man. Fine then. I will stick with this one for now. Alright. Nope, gotta go one the other way. Alright. Negative. Well, we've defeated the white lady. Yeah. I wasn't prepared for it to be a stalker. That actually surprised me. Yeah, it was surprising to me as well. Throwing cell. Dead end. Okay. It's the Mimic Veil. Mimic <laughs> Yeah! Okay. I wonder... So this goes up. Might put you behind where those other puppets were. Strong possibility. Like we're like guarding against this entryway or whatever. There was a state incident left as a mystery. The city of Krat decided to put an indefinite stop to the investigation of the disaster took place in the Manad Charity House, known as the Rose Estate. This was to prevent chaos used or caused by the large scale spreading of the petrification disease. There have been no confirmed survivors so far. Oof. The petrification disease is a deadly epidemic, but this massive spread is unprecedented. The quarantine authorities surmise that the petrification disease caused the novel mutation. The Monad Charity House, once a boarding school for kids from the slums, has until recently been home to the founding Monad family and many students from refugees. The leader of the alchemists, Valentinus Monad, has been confirmed to have passed during his catastrophe, and this will take a toll on the alchemists. Are we have we heard about Mon Valentinus Monad before? No, the Monad door is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, what I have been wondering is what the Trinity key or the Trinity rooms are those Purpose. chairs for s three specific people, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I'm very curious about that. Yeah, there's a lot of symbolism in those Trinity keys. I'm really curious how they'll function. Agreed. That's a one way. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, we came down to the amphitheater the other way. Oh, oh! Nice. Crescent Moonstone. Demergo Chunk. Okay. Alright, and I bet this puts us behind where the... Yeah, here we go. Nice. Ooh. Some, uh... Those guns are no joke there. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Dancer's Curve Sword. I've mm -hmm. heard, this, heard this is a pretty cool weapon, actually. Uh. Ooh. Oh, that definitely looks like their style of weapon. Alright. Very interesting. 
Link retreating stash. Guard parry. That's pretty cool. I like that weapon. Alright. Your face likes that weapon. My face does like that weapon. That's very true. <laughs> I believe we've come full circle here. Yep. So, yep, so nothing continuing on. There. there was a there was a um, stargazer I saw. Yeah. Good, good, good. We'll go ahead and grab that. I think we are pretty much at time at this point for the, this episode. Yeah, I was just about to suggest next time on videos. Yes, I would like to get back here to this item if I can. Hold on. Yeah, I can. Good. Oh, cool, cool, cool. We've defeated those boxes. They were the hardest thing in this game. That's right. They keep coming back just the same. They do. Is that a shortcut? Oh, it might be. Nope. Eventually yes. it is. <laughs> yes, but but no. <laughs> yes, but no. All right, that. Oh, there's a guy right there. Yep. Shall we leave him a mystery till next time? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Oh, look at that. We can see the gold gold coin tree in there. That's nice. All right, everybody. Well, uh, this was. Uh, we dealt with the black cats. Now we're investigating Rosa Isabel Street, so tune in next time, uh, on the next episode. We will keep progressing here, we'll figure out who this guy is, and, uh, I don't know, maybe there'll be some more weapons, uh, that I'll be experimenting with. We've picked up several of them. Uh, I may mess around with some of those in the training area before our next episode, but, uh, yeah. That's Great. the plan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the meantime, if you like what you've been watching, like, subscribe, do all the algorithm stuff, helps us out a ton. Check out other series. We've got Liza P running right now, and we've got, um, you know, Salt and Sanctuary is a co-op game playing. We've got our Tea Time Tuesdays and our main, you know, our main series of various games. We had Xeno Gears before, we're in Persona 3 now. Mm -hmm. Lots of great stuff. Please check it out. I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy. We're up to a ton of antics in every single one of them so if you were even mildly amused here you'll at least be a, a modicum of amused in any of the other videos yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> um yeah I, I think it's worth noting uh with, with souls likes uh i will tend to be a little more mechanically critical so if you disagree uh feel free make your voice heard um be respectful of course but yeah definitely i know there are other perspectives than mine uh austin has a slightly different perspective than i do um and you know as long as you're having fun playing the game you know awesome if, if you'd like to get good without equipping weapons in souls games <laughs> nothing nothing wrong with it nothing wrong with it so um more power to you yeah, yeah, but if you do enjoy these sorts of gameplay, uh, even with me getting salty occasionally, uh, definitely let us know. Uh, we're, we're open to playing more Souls games on the channel. Uh, we, we do have Salt and Sanctuary, like Austin said, uh, which is kind of a uh, Soulsvania sort of thing. Um, and we're doing that co-op, so check that out if you haven't already. Uh, and, you know, if you're just not interested and you prefer more of the turn-based stuff, uh, we are going to be continuing that with the more narrative focused um you know we're playing turn-based rpgs right now but that may branch out into other things but we are going to keep to you know analyzing and uh enjoying the stories of various games so yeah yeah that's my spiel <laughs> for this episode <laughs> yeah so just to reiterate comments we enjoy interacting with you whether you want to tell us how you think that we're sucking it up or if you just want to talk about how you like certain weapons or your own, per, like you said, uh, opinions of mechanics and how they function within the game. All that's good. More than anything else, though, we just thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day. Thanks for um, taking the time to watch our video using some of your time. Hopefully you were able to relax and hang out and get a giggle or two. And uh, more than anything else, we hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll catch you all in the next video. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.